Hi guys, Shattered Civ here. I am playing uh, my playthrough of Firewatch, and I'm going to continue the game. And uh, we're going to take off from where we last left off. So I've got a copyright straight, guys, on uh, on this video, and it was simply because of uh, the ghetto blaster that was playing those tunes that I threw into the lake. <laughs> I was like, give me a break, guys. You know, nobody had nobody would even know what that song is, man, unless it was for fucking uh, you know them doing copyright strikes. The only reason why they're doing that is because uh, it's because they never made any money during the initial release of the fucking the music. Anyway, so I fought it. I'm just like, whatever. It's not considered a copyright strike. It's just considered a, it's copyright uh, issued. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's uh, head towards the canyon. That's two forks, and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, that will also take us to the, uh, the canyon. But a radio... Interesting. Oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't fucking nice. What the fuck? Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what I fucking do. I just piss off all the campers. It's just, oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were, so... What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. The fourth estate. Richard Surgeon. Sturgeon. Um, let's examine this. Can we flip it over? Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with the tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder in first class uh, of a trans-America thriller that puts Neil... Uh, into the South City streets and slams into the sordid web of politics and high finance, and he, all he finds is murder, deceit, and betrayal. Interesting. And a sweater. Like, which I can't pick up. Can't report it. Okay, well, let's read this note here. 
Ron got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down and, well, Petey? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I'll probably, I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish and professionales is Italian. So what has gone on in Wapiti? I'm going to hang on to that, I suppose. No fireworks. That's what this, uh, it all started off just like that. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay, I'm just going to close that for now, I guess. <coughs> and we're going to want to follow the uh, the trail here along the edge of Jonesy Lake. And then uh, we're going to deviate off to the right there. And Rapati, Rapiti Meadow is just uh, a little bit to the north. What have we got here? What's making fucking noise? All right. The walking simulator has come to a dead end. I hate this fluff, by the way, guys. I get it occasionally around uh, in my parts, and it's just, it's everywhere. You, you just walk through it like it's, like it's, it's literally like stuffing. All right. Um, am I going to have to go back? Explore with Peter Meadow. Okay. I know this. All right. I guess I'm going straight. People are knocking me out. I forgot all about that. Yeah, people are like, there's some uh, sinister going ons here. So hopefully we'll get no more music in the game. I mean, I can't believe that, guys. It's like, you know, as if, I'm like, what? I didn't even recognize the, 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 the music or even the band. I was like, what? Like, fuck, man, you guys should be happy that I'm fucking, like, advertising this fucking shit. Like, give me a break. Like, you can't even do a playthrough now. So, I mean, if you're as smart as a developer, you know what you probably want to do is just have music strewn throughout the whole thing so nobody can stream it. But on, uh, you know, that same same page, guys, you got people like, you know, CD uh, Project Red there uh, having a, um, a copyright disable uh, feature, right? So uh, any of the music that's playing, it will automatically uh, omit it if you're streaming or recording, which is perfect. All right, we're here. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. You know, I mean, because this is uh, pre-internet, you know, it's not just as easy as, uh, you know. Oh, hey. Just Google this, uh, this U.S. code. Yeah, that's quite the canyon drop. All right, so we need to get our asses in here. So uh, take a look at the, the locked gate. That's not going to let me in. And that's a dead end over there. I mean, um, <clears throat> why can't I hop it? anything here did I well oh, try to shove it again I guess Is locked up, obviously. 
obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. That would take a lot of hits, but uh, you, over time you should be able to get in there. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Yeah, that uh, the gate is huge, eh? Oh, there's a fence. Uh, it surrounds a whole fucking uh, load of areas. All right, Ruby River, eh? There's the Ruby River south, so Cottonwood uh, Creek. Wow. Okay, uh, that's quite the uh, quite the journey. I guess we're gonna go down uh, Thunder Cannon Canyon. Fuck me, we got to. Uh, we're going on quite the journey. I hope I don't get knocked out again. What was that? I just saw a contact come up. Maybe it was just the fence, but. These area code or these codes are the same, eh? Yeah, 1863. And I forgot what that Simoleon uh, looking symbol is. It means something in legal banter. I just can't remember what it is for. Uh, it's the form of abbreviation. All right, so yeah, this here, guys, uh, I'm going to need an axe. So once I get the axe, I'll be able to actually chop this up here. And she doesn't care about that, or does she? Nope, just need to chop it down. All right. You know, guys, I'm not going to fast forward through this. The uh, the game world is relatively small. It's maybe about only the size of uh, maybe, let's say, Mystery Lake in the long dark. So I'm just going to allow, uh, you know, just kind of the game to play out. And luckily, we have no stamina meters to contend with here, which is very nice. It is almost like the uh, the relaxed or the super beginner's uh, long dark, eh? All right, yeah, we got to go all the way around. I think um, get back into Thunder Canyon, then we'll cut back towards our uh, our home base. It is quite a ways away. Suppose I can run though, right? I seem to remember there was something really morbid in this game, where it was almost like it was very bleak. I mean, the, game, the whole game has that premise to it, though, if you really think about it from the start, you know, like just uh, the reason why uh, Henry is here, you know, or why we're here. All right, boom. Boom, we'll hang a right here, hop up here. See if we can get our hands on a uh, on an axe, a good old fire axe. And there's our uh, there's our tower way up on the hill there. That's really sensitive. All right, perfect. We just gotta head through that little cave there. Uh, I believe we have to go through the cave. I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Yeah. Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, will you just 
said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. It's of course that's what's I, happening. I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, Tell my God. Worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. All right. Uh, let's double check the map. I'm pretty sure we got to get through here. Um, I just want to see what's up uh, up to the north here. It's nice having a cardinal point on the map. I can actually tell you guys, you know, where to look and uh, where it is on the map. Unlike, uh, you know, the long dark where uh, it may or may not fucking uh, make sense to you. Okay, yeah, just through the cave system and the other side of the great, the, the two forks. All right. Get there before it gets dark. This flashlight's useless. Just making sure there's no answers. I don't know, man. After somebody just beamed me over the head, I'm not sure if I'd be wanting to uh, be standing in that cave for very long. I'd be, uh, I'd be getting the fuck out of Dodge here, to be honest. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that. If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. See, I wouldn't believe that. My first, uh, my first theory would be like he's being abducted. He's somewhere in the fucking wilderness. He's probably behind one of these locked fences. All right. Um, <clears throat> is there a fast way or? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? It's just as long as there's nobody up there waiting for me. Start throwing like big fucking boulders down on my ass. Man, this was just like my uh, my camping trip like a year ago. And I was climbing up uh, little fa facades like this, and uh, it was good. It was a great trip. Met somebody really weird in the bush, though. I don't. I think he was uh, up to no good. I'm not exactly sure what was going on, man. But uh, everyone I've told the story to, I even phoned the RCMP, and they're like, "Man, uh, you know, don't uh, don't call us. You've Got to phone the OPP, which is our uh, Ontario Provincial Police." And I already called them earlier in the adventure when I had gone up there, and uh, they didn't seem to really give a fuck. <laughs> But anyways, I'm, I'm thinking there was uh, maybe human trafficking going on up there. It was, uh, it was absolutely terrifying. But uh, despite that, the, uh, the trip itself was fun. Many, many places along the Bruce Trail that you have to uh, kind of make your way up. Climbs like these, maybe not so steep, but it's about as hard as you want to make it. All right, so we're going to go shoot past the uh, the Two Forks Tower there. We've got ourselves a generator. I should really check out uh, what the... Um, I wonder who's filling that, by the way. What the uh, trophies are. written on it all right so somewhere down here is the uh, is the way we need to go so they're doing a 
a, a fire break? Is that what they're doing? You kind of think we'd be going towards the uh, the big fire or whatever it's called or the flapjack fire. I think I called it the the big fire the first time I played. All right, let's uh, quickly look at the map here. Yeah, we are on the right path. Uh, where's another cache? Okay, we'll just kind of follow this around. We should be able to, to get there very easily. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Man, that'd be, uh, I'd be a little concerned. I don't know how well I'd be sleeping at night. I guess you'd have hours to kind of figure out that it's coming towards you, but fuck by then. I don't know. All right, so we should have a cash box up here somewhere. Oh, oh I'm hearing music. Are, are we sure we're allowed this to play? Like, how ridiculous. All right, you know what? I think it's just quicker just to walk through the water. Although maybe that's a trophy right there. Play hopscotch. Maybe I'll try it on the way back. All right, let's uh, look around first. Make sure no one's like watching me, ready to club me over the back of the head. All right, I'll get a little bit more info there. Very nice. Let's read the note. What does Dave have to say? Ron, really wish the powers that could be issue US radio is that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of me right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting in the spot at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Uh, I'm wondering if these guys had a relationship. Lending library, eh? Uh, another book, Terminal 7. Another Sturgeon book. Oh man, I can barely read that. Thanksgiving! Uh, South City Airport is packed to the gills with uh, travelers eager to ditch the something. All right, well. Starring Michael Keaton with Kurt Russell as... Do what? Comes to the big screen, summer of 1986. Does it really? Huh. I'm gonna have to fucking, uh, have to pick that up, I suppose. What do we got here? Terrence Greenbrier. These books look like you can open them, eh? Sixty-five cents. Uh, toilet paper. What the fuck do we want that for? Oh, it is COVID. Jane Eyre. Or Erie. Oh, I could. What? Nothing, eh? It's just the old-fashioned bucks. Throw that back. One chance to die. This is all the Sturgeon's bucks. The first book in Crime by the Numbers. From the author of the best-selling Spectrum spy series, One Chance to Die is the book that started it all. Neil Black is South City's most effective but least known detective. Yeah, okay. Uh, I wonder why they have that there. And the toilet paper? Oh, I can uh, I can just release it, eh? Oh, uh, tricked me. 
I don't know why I'm not putting it back in the box, but it's not really giving me that option. All right, so we'll just close that. And we're going to head on uh, towards the flapjack fire. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. There's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. It looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across Old Pork Pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird, but me getting beaten over the back of the head is no uh, cause to call the cops. The fuck. at the scout camp. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. back to this ledge over here and uh, I guess we're gonna do a lot of running jump that doesn't sound like a great idea huh poles there, very nice. And it looks like we've got a deserted camp. These little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. You ever talk to any of the scouts? Mm, no, Look at that, guys. Been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, forced. I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. 
to me he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever. But I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. here hmm. take the memo hey. let's read that squad boss grant carson regarding dr simmons at Mopiti station thoroughfare region squad boss carson in the next uh, few days you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of shoshone national forest to cut a fire line south of ruby river i'm writing you on behalf of dr ben simmons of Mopiti station he reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer for. Thanks as always for your service, Rich Sozolarenko. Assistant Superintendent. ED, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else they do yeah that's what i think well fuck that agreed i think we should have allowed for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding but god if you saw what you said you did fuck henry yeah i saw it okay so what's next well i've got an axe so i can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site sounds good check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you I should probably go to that Cottonwood Creek uh, cache. Although maybe it's going to have, uh, it's going to send me back there again. Anyways, we've got to get back to uh, Wapiti Station, and, uh, or Wapiti as they call it. Yeah, I'm going to run over to that other cache quickly. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Fair Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, 
you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. <sighs> Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Huh. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. Yeah. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, <clears throat> internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I gotcha. Cottonwood Creek. Um, I did want to kind of uh, answer her, but okay. Let's get my old fucking 80s hat on. Wedding ring. Why is that off? That's kind of odd. What do we got here? What am I writing? All right, let's go back to Cottonwood Creek. I mean, I was going to go there anyway. What? This, this place is a fucking mess. Like I thought she told me not to bother going out. Now I'm now I'm going out. Oh, I'm getting used to which direction to go. It's kind of the opposite of the long darks. All right, seems like the it's getting a little foggy, eh? Yeah, that flapjack fire is starting to get a little bigger. That's kind of neat. It's a nice nice little touch. getting paranoid now it, there's a lot of chop to it though it's surprisingly I'm uh, it's not well optimized the game that's for sure getting uh, kind of the gist of what she was saying let's uh, see where the hell we are on the map yeah you know it's funny I was just about to go there anyway so it's uh, we're headed back to it but I think this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip over all these rocks Paper still out. Let's see if there's anything still there. Anything changed? No. Nope. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go right around the corner here. Towards the cottonwood area. It's really chugging along with the uh, the added smoke that they've added to the uh, the atmosphere here. It's great effect though, but uh, I'd love to play this on the the PS5. It would be smooth as silk. That is neat though. I love how that's uh, it's becoming like uh, predominant there in the in the horizon. Uh, I just heard something.
So she's convinced somebody's uh, listening now too, eh? Now we got more of the uh, more of the fluff. All right, let's talk about the big tree first, or maybe the ski. I can't talk about either. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the map here. All right, why am I here and why does she want to send me here? Did she hike out here and leave something? I guess we will find out shortly. <clears throat> and why am I always leaving when it's like fucking like hitting dusk? It's the worst time to hike. Like seriously guys, if you want to break your ankles, go out hiking uh, when it's dusk. <laughs> like. A friend and I were at, uh, I think it was called Mystery Falls, and uh, it got dark. And thank God we did not have to make the uh, the return trip back because it would have been an absolute nightmare. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. Yeah, it I see it. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I was in a rush. That's funny. <laughs> no people like that, too. All right, let's get the map info. Ah. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? is fine are you sure yes i've tried to bring it up to chimney rock elks fork and beartooth lookout and every one of them got confused asked me if i'm okay and if i need to be relieved the fucking state coordinator asked if i was just having lady troubles so, <laughs> this isn't happening to anyone else and i'm done asking that's not fucking funny <laughs> Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Yeah, if I can even get there. It may kind of truncate the day. I keep hearing shit in the bushes, man. It's, uh, it's freaking me out. Uh, the chop is really bad. I do remember that the first time I played through this. Uh, that's too bad. I wouldn't mind uh, actually experiencing this on uh, like a PS5 maybe next time. Try my different uh, dialogue options, I suppose. This is going to be a long journey, guys. Let's, uh, let's get to Wapiti or Wapiti Gate and let's see what's uh, just beyond the gate. And that should probably end the episode, but... Uh, uh, we can definitely agree that there is more questions now than answers. Like, I don't know if uh, Delilah is in on it, you know. Hey, uh, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. 
What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And it's because she's I wanted. Didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Of this. You need to phone the cops. Like, really? You know what I mean? I, I just noticed, guys, there was actually a way that I could have uh, got to this medicine wheel a little bit quicker, but, eh, whatever. That's getting the uh, the killing joke song in my head. Killing Joke Guys. If you haven't heard them, they're a fucking great band. They're considered, like, industrial, but... Oh, wait. Am I even allowed to mention band names? Or will I get a copyright strike? Fuck. <laughs> that makes me laugh. All right, so I guess we're going to uh, keep on going straight. There's the medicine wheel. And, uh, wow, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. Kind of, we want to go north. Boom. All right. Yeah, with all this haze in there, it's uh, it's getting a little bit uh, more difficult to spot shit. Okay, we got to stop here in order to read the map. And yeah, we are doing, we're going to be there like very, very shortly. Even uh, less time if we run. Jonesy Lake, that's right, baby. All right, past the... Uh, the bear clawed tree. Yeah, if I don't turn too much, the frame rate doesn't seem to, to suffer too much. It's like, it's almost like once I do that, though, you'll, you'll see that right there. It's just uh, comes Chopville. I don't even know if I needed to go this way. I might have been able to go the other way. But uh, everything kind of all ends up in the same place. Like I said, this map isn't over, overly big, guys. By the time you finish exploring it, like I said, it's about the size of Mystery Lake. The story's done, and uh, like I said, it kind of sticks with you for the uh, for the time being. All right, we're gonna jog our way to Jonesy Lake. Then we're gonna, um, as soon as we get to the lake, hang a right. Now, I do have different paths open to me right now, so maybe uh, maybe I'm going to try to go this way, see where it goes. Because I do have the axe now, so I am able to clear um, rough passages and stuff. Uh, can I get down here? Let me down. Thank you. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, man, that was the first time that I've uh, actually ever seen wildlife in this place. That, uh, yeah, that initially scared the fuck out of me. Can I scramble up here? Come on, let me get up here, guys. That looks like it's a one-way fucking journey there. That's uh, unfortunate. But we got to see a raccoon. Do, do. Oh, shit. Now I'm seeing bears and stuff, guys. <laughs> it's turning into the long dark now. All right. We're almost there, and uh, I want to see what's beyond that fence, to tell you the truth.
Um, now, where do I go? Um, is it, uh, it's not right here. It's right here. I'm sure it is. Let's just double check the map. I suppose I can go either way. Yeah, this is where I came out of before. All right. Nothing like going to the creepy science research facility at, uh, you know, the fucking, at dusk. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Here be dragons. Can I get down there? All right, time to bust our way into this uh, this research facility, and somebody's stacking those rocks. All right, so that's the exit only. There's nothing uh, stuck on there, is there? Great colors again, guys. I'm, I'm liking. Um, I'm loving the effects, man, that we're we're getting these days. The the color palette range of uh of the the skies, the sky boxes, man, it's incredible. We've come so far. I'd have to say one of my best reflections, though, or probably off of like uh, I think it's like Grand Theft Auto Four and Five. Um, just the the coloring on the trees and stuff, man, or on the cars and uh, the, the sheen off of the cars, it looked like photorealistic. I was uh, I was more than impressed. There was um, something I could have chopped down here, I thought. Anyways, let's see if we can just kind of pry this open now. <clears throat> Boom, snap it off. That's great. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Ow! <sighs> If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson, or jo Joson. Joson? Uh, Government-owned equipment is under the pur purview of Cat Fernand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. I've worked at places like that before, and I'm not going to report the bee sting. That seems a little dangerous. <laughs> oh, what do we got over here? And why did it get dark all of a sudden? Now it's turned into like, a, you know, some Resident Evil fucking uh, playthrough. What is up over here? Uh, big fall, okay. What do we got? I saw something just pop up there. What was that? Again, oh my god, it got dark in like a big fucking hurry, didn't it? Aha. Monitoring station. it on okay I'm at the site I don't see anybody around lucky for us yeah lucky for us e, there is some serious comms equipment out here wireless stuff what do you mean I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower and they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want well you don't and know so that man that looks like it's makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them it's picking up wind speeds and shit You know, I guess if you want somebody out here quick, you just turn off the generators. Whoa. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? 
dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us? Yeah, like us. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of... Uh, subject beacon, frequent sex social role. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. Avoidance behavior. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, disproportionate food intake. Paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Um. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate stuff, do you? Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Hmm. You know what, guys? I am going to leave that right there. This is a great thing. Uh, it would kind of like uh, leave us in suspense. But uh, I am Shattered Civ. I am playing Firewatch. And we are on, uh, I, I, fuck, what are we, day 77 or something like that. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will be ne back next week. And we will continue the adventures of Henry and Delilah. All right, guys, take care. And don't fall through that floor. I will see you again. Good night.